This is my account, Level 3 Skiller, and he's, well, a Level 3 Skiller. A level 3 Skiller is an account that is locked at Level 3, where if you accidentally gain one combat level, the account needs to be started over. This is a huge challenge because tons of areas, training methods, and money makers are locked behind certain quests that reward combat XP, which would ruin the account if I completed them. My ultimate goal is to get level 99 in every single non-combat stat, besides Slayer of course, before the end of 2023. And if I don't make it by then, I'm deleting the account and starting all over again. Welcome everybody to the finale of my level 3 skiller series. As you guys can see, we have 99 everything besides runecrafting and we're only 124 XP away from level 99. I'm going to be getting that tomorrow on Thursday, December 28th. And don't worry, you guys are going to see it in this video. The reason I'm in Varrock is because I've been doing lamps for Slayer XP. I only need one more lamp to level 56. I don't want to get level 56 Slayer right now, at least until I'm maxed because 99 everything would look really nice with 55 Slayer as opposed to level 56 Slayer. We're also starting this video out with 263.2 million total XP, a total level of 1,555, and on the level 3 skiller high scores, we are currently ranked 195 overall. And with our highest skill being farming, we're currently ranked 76 in the world on the level 3 high scores in farming. I ran out of farming supplies, so I haven't really been keeping up with it lately. I just really don't want to spend the rest of my remaining GP on farming supplies. But anyway, we ended last video off with 250 searches at the Rewards Guardian at Guardians of the Rift. So let's go do those pulls real quick here. We were initially going for the Guardian's Eye, which is 3,000 Abyssal Pearls. We currently only have 1,851. Chances are we're not going to be able to afford the Guardian's Eye with the amount of pulls that we currently have, the 250, unless we get extremely, extremely, extremely lucky and get a bunch of Abyssal Dyes that I could sell for additional pearls. But chances are, that's not going to happen. Normally, I would get an extra 250 points. That way, we'll definitely have enough for the Guardian's Eye. However, since we are only 124 XP away from maxing, I can't do that at this time. Real quick, jumping into the collection log. We currently have 12 out of 17 collection log slots filled here, with the only remaining things being the Abyssal Protector, which I'm not going for, the Abyssal Red Die, the Ring of the Elements, which I'm also not going for, of course, the Guardian's Eye, and the lost bag but apparently you get the lost bag from intricate pouches so i guess we're going for more intricate pouches we currently have 1500 total rift searches and with these remaining 250 pulls that will bring us up to 1750 rewards searched but all right that's enough yapping let's get into the pulls All right, the first inventory has been filled up. Let's just organize these runes real quick and we'll throw these talisman in the bank. Let's get back to pulling. All right, here's the next full inventory. We got a lot more intricate pouches that time throw those in the bank as well currently up to 301 abyssal pearls which isn't bad but that only brings us up to about 2100 pearls so we still need like 900 more ish so uh we're definitely not gonna make it unless we get a ton of rare stuff Alright, this is probably the last full inventory we are going to have to deposit. Nothing good so far. Uh, I mean, now we're up to 462 pearls, which brings us up to a total of 2313. We need just under 700 more pearls in 38 pulls to get the Guardian's Eye, which we're definitely not going to get regardless of how lucky we are. All right, that is 250 pulls of Guardians of the Rift. Now it's 1750 total Rift searches, and we managed to get 92 Abyssal Pearls, which isn't too bad with the amount of pulls that we had left. Let's deposit all the stuff and open these six intricate pouches. And we got nothing good, but we did get the Genie Lamp, and that Genie Lamp is going to be what gets me to level 99 runecrafting tomorrow. 
I'm gonna sell this abyssal green dye because I'm never gonna use it. And apparently I can't sell it to the shop? I thought I could, what? Oh, you have to do it through the chat options, okay. Only 50 abyssal pearls? Oh well, I mean, that's not terrible, but uh, yeah. So now we only need 545 more abyssal pearls in order to get the guardian's eye. Not planning on doing that now, I'll probably do that after I max. But yeah, let's uh, sell all of this stuff. Everything here is from Guardians of the Rift. I didn't buy any of these runes. So let's withdraw all of this stuff and see how much total loot we got. Keep in mind, because I am a level 3 skiller, I can't craft things like soul runes, astral runes, law runes, or even death runes. So I'm pretty much stuck here doing low tier runes. So all of these higher powered runes that you guys are seeing is basically just from me picking up stuff that randoms dropped as well as loot from the intricate pouches. So yeah, this is pretty much everything that I ever got from Guardians of the Rift. Let's see how much it's worth. And it comes out to just over 20 mil. Very curious to see how much I get from it after I sell it in the Grand Exchange, which is what we are about to do right now. It says that these elemental talismans are selling for 6.8k each. I can't even sell them for 1600 each. So uh, that's probably a good merching item. But anyway, from talismans alone, we got just about 90,000 GP. Not bad. All right, everything besides these elemental talismans I've sold. Bring in a total of 20 million GP. I actually got 20.3 million GP, which is pretty good. The most expensive thing that I sold is looking to be these nature runes, which I got 5.4 million for. And the runner up being the cosmic runes, which I got 4.2 million for. So yeah, 20 mil is not too bad. However, if you divide the 20 mil by the amount of time it took me to get all that stuff, it is a not a good money maker. But yeah, I guess that is everything we're going to do for right now until my maxing party tomorrow. I am extremely excited to finally max a level 3 skiller in old school runescape. I do have a max skiller in runescape 3, but RS3 is a significantly different experience getting those stats. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how many people turn up. Hopefully it's more than 5. Uh, I have no idea what to expect. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow at my 99 party. Alrighty, I logged in, I went downstairs, made myself a coffee, and came back up, and here is the turnout. It's more people than I was initially expecting, so thank you guys so much for coming. I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes, just in case some people are running late. So I'll see you guys whenever it's time to actually get 99 and Max's account. Five minutes later. Here is everybody, we got 38k, Tuxedo Tabby, BWQ, Keldrone, 3TY, Star Nerf, High Eye Skill, Chin Checked, Skilled, Wood Product, Always Lols, RPA, Orange Pico, and Indica 3. I think that's everybody that came. Thank you guys so much for coming, it really means a lot to me. Alright, we're gonna do a countdown now. From 10, 9, 8... Seven. I definitely should have started at like five because now my messages aren't sending because it's thinking I'm sending too many. 75 years later. Two. One. Here we go. Bada boom. Bada bing. 99 rune crafting. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. We'll now receive 10 air runes from each essence, but who cares? This account has now been completely maxed besides Slayer. I am so excited. And these stats just look so sick now. Thank you everybody for coming. This is an amazing thing. I truly never thought that I would ever max this account. Well, I knew I'd most likely do it one day, but I didn't think it'd be this fast and I didn't think I'll have so many of you guys watching and supporting me. So I just want to thank you guys so much for checking out the channel and giving my series a shot whenever you saw it in your feed. But anyway, I almost completely forgot we still got to go get the cape. So uh, yeah, let's go get it. When am I going to get 99 Slayer? <laughs> Probably like six, seven, eight years. I actually do not have any plans of maxing Slayer, at least in any sort of immediate future. All right, it's time to grab this cape. And I am getting attacked. No, I'm not. Thank you so much. Can I buy it just by trading him? Yes, I can. All right, sounds good. Oh my god, this cape looks so nice. Are you kidding me? All right, let me do the emote real quick. This is one of my favorites in old school runescape. Jeez, man, it's a good cape. 
All right, that about sums it up for the party. Thank you to every single person who came. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I guess I will see you in the next clip. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing, but uh, yeah, I'll see you then. You know, I took the time to set up everything to get the new fancier boots. Well, I guess they're not really new anymore, but the fancier boots here, which are a hybrid of the fancy boots and the fighting boots. I put them on in the Fashionscape plugin, and uh, let's just say they don't look the best. Uh, <laughs> let me show you guys up here in some better lighting. All right, ready for this? And, uh... I got one question for you. What are those? Yeah, what the hell are these? Like, they look so good, right? And then you see it from the side profile, and they are so ugly. What's with this gigantic, gigantic spiked toe? It looks so weird. Do the fighting boots look like that too? I don't think they do. All right, we grabbed the fighting boots as well. I probably should have grabbed them while I was down here already. But let's see, do the fighting boots look like this as well? No, they don't. They look significantly better. I mean, they don't look great, but like, Come on, the fancy boots, fighting boots, and the fancier boots that are like three times bigger with a gigantic toe. I do not understand. Why would they do that? It's literally just the fancy boots, but just with a gigantic toe. It's so ugly. I thought these were going to look so cool. I thought it was going to be my new fashion scape, but no. But uh, <laughs> anyway, this is my new fashion scape for the time being. I think this looks really nice. I really like the rune crafting cape. It looks really good with this outfit. I was stuck between the rainbow going with the rainbow boots or keeping the desert boots and rocking the bug lantern and the butterfly net. Uh, they both look really good. But I think for now, I'm just going to go with the fancy boots and the rainbow. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I just started finishing up this video and I just realized I never showed the level 3 skill or high scores with me maxed. We are ending this series for now until sailing comes out. Once sailing comes out, the series is starting back up. I'm getting 99 sailing and that's a fact. But as of right now, we currently have 1556 total level with 263.2 million total XP, 1599 skills, and on the level 3 skill or high scores, we are now ranked 182 overall. And we're also ranked 918 in runecrafting. So that means that there's under 1,000 level 3 skillers with 99 runecrafting. But yeah, I just realized I completely forgot to show that. And uh, yeah, let's get back to the final clip of the series. But yeah, so that basically sums up this series. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it. I truly never thought that we would have 99 everything. That's absolutely insane to me, especially in old school. I was excited when I got it done in RuneScape 3, but in old school, it's a whole different vibe. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and supporting the series. You have no idea how much it means to me. And keep a lookout for the next series. It's a good one. I really think that you'll all enjoy it. I've been working on it for quite some time. I'm currently wrapping up episode 7 right now, which is absolutely crazy. I just didn't want to be releasing two different series at the same time. I wanted to focus on this one first. And that way, I could take my time with the next series. And I think you guys are really going to like it. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next upload. It's probably going to be around January 15th-ish. Maybe January 12th. I want to upload an episode on that series about every week and a half. But yeah, I guess we'll see whenever it gets uploaded but it will definitely be early to mid january yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video hope that you guys enjoyed the series and i will see you in the next one